Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather around the table of the Lord on this memorial of St. Hilary, Bishop and Doctor. We beg for the grace through his intercession that we may be truly channels and bridges of God's graces for others. And so let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may rightly understand and truthfully profess the divinity of your Son, which the Bishop St. Hilary taught with such constancy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, her Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let us be on our guard while the promise of entering into his rest remains, that none of you seem to have failed. For in fact, we have received the good news just as our ancestors did. But the word what they heard, that they heard did not profit them. For they were not uni united in faith with those who listen. For we who believe enter into the rest. 
just as he has said, As I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. And yet, his works were accomplished at the foundation of the world. For he has spoken somewhere about the seventh day in this manner. And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again, in the previously mentioned place, they shall not enter into my rest. Therefore, let us strive to enter into that rest so that no one may fall after the same example of disobedience. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. What we have heard and know and what our fathers have declared to us, we will declare to the generation to come the glorious deeds of the Lord and His strength. Do not forget the works of the Lord. That they too may rise and declare to their sons that they should put their hope in God and not forget the deeds of God, but keep His commands. Do not forget the works of the Lord. And not be like their fathers, a generation wayward and rebellious, a generation that kept not its heart steadfast, nor its spirit faithful toward God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Please stand. great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it became known that he was at home. Many gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even around the door. And he preached the word to them. They came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. Unable to get near Jesus because of the crowd, they opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to them, Child, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there asking themselves, Why does this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. So he said, Why are you thinking such things in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven? or to say, Rise, pick up your mats, and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, Rise, pick up your mats, and go home. He rose, picked up his mat at once, and went away in the sight of everyone. 
they were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Even before the scribes could answer Jesus, he already gave them their answer right away. When Jesus asked them what would be easier to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or rise, take up your mat and, take up your mat and walk, he already knew that the scribes would, won't have any answer for that. Why? Simply because... They don't have the power to do so. They don't have the power to forgive sins. More so, they do not have the power to heal. Then, what was the problem with the scribes? They were obstacles for the healing of the paralytic. Hinahad langan nila yung biyaya na para dun sa paralitiko. There is another group in our gospel that was a direct opposite to that group of scribes. Kung yung mga eskriba had lang para sa biyaya ng paralitiko, meron din naman hong naging tulay ng biyaya para sa kanya. There were four men who brought the paralytic to Jesus. At hindi lang nila basta din nila yung paralitiko kay Jesus. Ginawa nila ang lahat ng paraan para mailapit sila o mailapit siya kay Jesus. They did everything in their power to bring the paralytic to, to bring the paralytic to Jesus even to the point of breaking the roof where Jesus was. Looking at these two groups, it is good to ask ourselves are we hindrances or obstacles to God's graces for others? Or have we allowed ourselves to become channels or bridges of these graces? Nagiging tulay ba tayo o daluyan ng mga biyaya para sa iba? O baka tayo yung nagiging hadlang o sagabal para doon? But what would be the difference between the two groups? attitude. The scribes reacted immediately when they heard what Jesus said to the paralytic. If you look again at the scene, the paralytic did not say anything. He was not the one requesting to be healed or to be forgiven from his sins. The, the gospel describes it, that, describes it as when Jesus saw their faith, it was not the faith of the paralytic that cured him. It was the faith of the four men who brought him to Jesus. Then, why was the scribes reacting? Because the paralytic received something that he did not ask for. Iho ba, ganyan din tayo mag-isip minsan. Ganyan din tayo mag-react kapag may nakukuha yung iba na hindi naman nila hinihingi, ang iniisip agad natin, bakit siya? Bakit meron siya? Ako wala. But sometimes, it is not envy that pushes us to think that way. More often than not, it is pride that makes us think that way. Because sometimes, we feel that we are better than others. We feel that we are more deserving than others. We feel that we are more capable than others. Looking at the other group, the four men, they did not say anything. The gospel did not mention anything that they said anything to Jesus. What they simply did was to bring the paralytic to the feet of Jesus. This is what their what this is what their difference in attitude gives them. Walang nadudulot sa atin yung pagmamaktol. Walang nadudulot sa atin yung inggit. Pero maraming nangyayari, maraming nagbabago 
pag-alam natin kung papaano natin inilalatag yung ating sarili sa harap ni Jesus. We will not benefit anything from our grumblings, but everything changes when we are able to lay it down at the feet of Jesus. Are we bridges and channels of graces? Or are we obstacles and hindrances to these graces? If we are obstacles or hindrances, we simply know how to grumble. But if we are bridges and channels of these graces, we know how to bring ourselves and others to the feet of Jesus. Please stand. With all the trust of the paralytic's friends, let us bring to the Lord the needs and miseries of the church and of the world. For every intention, we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may never fail in her duty of welcoming the marginalized and those excluded from society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may foster peace in the hearts of men and women by our readiness to forgive and forget past offenses. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Spirit may guide the church in carrying out Christ's mission to preach forgiveness of sins to all who seek God's mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may be ready to bring Christ, especially to those whose lives were shattered by painful circumstances. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may continue to hope and to trust in God, who wishes wholeness for everyone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our departed brethren may have fullness of life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people who are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promised to pray for. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the forgiveness shown to us by your Son. May we in turn show forgiveness to all who have offended us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. 
for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of St. Hilary be pleasing to you, O God. For taught by Him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us in the festival of St. Hilary, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Hilary, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead, lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, worthy that, you that you should enter, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Through Christ, the teacher, O Lord, instruct those who feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Hilary, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen. Yeah.